Hi guys, ladies and gentlemen, fellow humans. This is Rusty78609, your man in Capitan, New Mexico, in a 16-foot travel trailer, living in complete luxury, peace, and harmony. And also, mail call! <laughs> fall in. Fall in, guys. Get off those bumps. On your feet, guys. So what we have now, ladies and gentlemen, is officially started. I don't know why it's so dark. I guess because that's the way it is. I don't have any more lights to turn on. But anyway, we do have some stuff today that I got. So we're going to go. You're going to love this. I'll get there, There's a couple of things. One, I got this from Mike B. Butterfield. It's Mike Butterfield's Guide to the Mountains of New Mexico including his photographs and tales of mountain exploration. It's by Peter Green, the New Mexico Magazine. And anyway, he's got a lot of stuff in here. It's a beautiful book. I'll show it to you. Check that out. There it is, the name and everything. And in it are some beautiful photographs of, here's one right here. How about this one? Nice sunset. It's funny. Sunsets are beautiful, and clouds actually add flavor. Okay, and here's one here of a nice winter scene. But anyway, this is Mike Butterfield's Guide to the Mountains of New Mexico. That's the name of it. And uh, it says by Peter Green, G-R-E-E-N-E, -E -E, of uh, New Mexico Magazine. Yeah, there's a lot of beautiful pictures. I've read some of it. It's got a little history in here of what's going on all around, and he talks about some of the hikes and but it's basically it's, there's quite a bit of history i mean there's a lot of uh, stories about you know what's going on or what went on in the mountains and and he gives you the name of the mountains and he talks about uh there's uh the exo ecological diversity and so forth so anyway it's a good book if you're interested in knowing more about new mexico and again one more time mike butterfield's guide to the mountains of new mexico and it's got a lot of pictures in it a lot 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 i could just look at the pictures i mean as far as reading i mean I, but it, it is pretty it's good photographer did a good job and uh, but anyway so you can check that out and thank you mike for the uh, book i appreciate it thank you very much and not to be that's not all this is not going to be a one letter mail call this is a two letter mail call Anyway, this comes from, you're going to love, you're going to love this one. You, you, this is, these, we have people that have a sense of humor. It came from Cedar Park, Texas. And uh, it just, there's no name. It just says Cedar Park, Texas. And it's a little note here. <clears throat> it says, Rusty, this original windsock has two main purposes. I got a windsock. I'll show you in a second. Has two main purposes. Hang from hang from antenna on truck you will be able to find your truck easier when you come out of the capitan grocery store thank you very much for that thought whilst on your antenna you will be able to tell which way the wind is blowing while driving see now that's something you really need to know and so this individual from cedar park texas knows the things that you and i both need to know enjoy keep on keeping on okay Thank you from Cedar Park, Texas. Now I'll show you this expensive wind sock. You're going to be very impressed. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, let me show you the, this way. See, it's a sock. Okay, notice it's just an ordinary sock. And on <clears throat> this side, <clears throat> it says wind. So if you combine those two, you get wind sock. <laughs> Smart. Oh, you, that's cute. Actually, it's just half a sock. He cut it in half. <laughs> he cut a sock in half. Okay, it's not even a whole sock. I can't even use it. Anyway, so if you guys want a wind sock, there it is, the, the original. Anyway, from Cedar Park, thank you very much. Very cute, very cute, very smart. We got some real humor in our group, don't we? But anyway, Mike's book, Mike Butterfield's book, Guide, Guide to the Mountains of New Mexico, and the original windsock from Cedar Park. 
those are just ordinary items now but since i can't put the book in the uh bucket of honor i'll put this in there this is the order thing and i'll put this in there this is the original note or it came with the windsock and here is the bouquet the bucket of honor it used to be a corona royal crown royal plastic bucket with some stuff on it and now we've promoted it to the bucket of honor you're like woo, woo. we promoted it and then you put these in there and now those are honored letters and items okay like the windsock is now honored and so is mike's book the mountains of new mexico okay so those are honored now and thank you very much guys for that for those gifts i do appreciate it thank you very much and they're in the bucket of honor so we did all of our stuff that we we're supposed to do wind sock mm -hmm. very good cedar park that is a real thoughtful i'm trying to figure out a place i can stick it well i'll figure it out later anyway yeah that's crazy isn't it but anyway thank you very much cedar park and mike no doubt about it we'll put that over there for right now and what else uh what else oh i was going to tell you what else the guys came by from tds the cable company and they got the cable working and they assure me that tomorrow i will have at least 50 to 60 megabytes download speed and at least five to eight going up so with that in mind internet issues hopefully solved they're going to get bring out the uh wi-fi thing tomorrow the modem so we're good to go on that and anyway guys thank you very much for your for the book mike and the sock cedar park thank you very much y'all have a good day i'll have a good day and this has been Mail call from the man in Capitan, New Mexico, Rusty78609. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything your little heart desires, anytime your little heart desires. But if you think about it, use the link in the description of my videos to Amazon products. Why? Because I get a small commission, and it doesn't cost you one penny. Okay? So if you want to use it, use it. If you don't, don't fool with it anyway what else drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day won't hurt you it's good for you It'll help you avoid gout kidney stones and it'll also help you lose weight if that's what you need or want to do what else take deep breath breathe in deeply hold it for a few seconds breathe out slowly why do that several times a day why because that relieves stress relieving stress lowers your blood pressure and that's very good for you what else uh stretch 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 walk 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 i did my stretches and walking this morning i'll probably do my stretches again this afternoon and i'll probably do some more walking again this afternoon why because that makes me feel good okay and what else stand guard at the door of your mind don't let negative nancy or negative ned get inside your head mm. anyway don't this is your head protect it let in good stuff keep the bad stuff out you'll feel better you'll sleep better but anyway guys adios amigos thanks for the sock cedar park thank you mike for the book appreciate it bye bye Bye-bye. Never mind. Bye-bye.